took me a few times to hear people ask the same question to the, realize that's a big problem. I mean, you cannot fry with olive oil. And I always sort of take a step back. It's like, why? Who said that? Uh, well, that's, that they say the small point is really, um, you know, not, not amenable to um, frying with olive oil. And I, I said, okay, so let's look at what the data shows. And um, a lot of studies have been done both in the lab and in kitchens uh, to show that, Take a frying pan in the center of the frying pan, which is the the highest temperature, you barely hit 300 and so degrees Fahrenheit. Smoke point of of a good olive oil is we're looking at 400 to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't think there's a lot of people who cook at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so there goes that myth. Yes, you can fry and you don't have to worry about the smoke point. But the the biggest problem with that is the sort of what follows from that is it's not so much the temperature, it's not so much the smoke point. The what has negative impact on on health is the polar compounds that are released during heating of any oil. So recently, I think about a year or so ago, a group out of Australia tested different kinds of oils. Uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, uh, different vegetable oils. And they showed repeatedly that not only the smoke point was not an issue, but the amount of polar compounds released by extra virgin olive oil was consistently the lowest of any of the other oils. And they let the oil heat for like three hours, six hours. So the polar compounds are, are what are bad for you. So these two go hand in hand. So yes, you can, you can fry with olive oil, even your fries, even your veggies. And actually, it's been shown that frying vegetables with olive oil not only gives you the benefit from the olive oil, but it also protects the, the release of phytonutrients out of your vegetables. So now you're getting a synergy of because the olive oil creates this crust around your vegetables and it captures the phytoproteins, the, the phytonutrients in the vegetables. So now you have a, an amplified effect. So um, so there goes that and, and okay, polar compounds. You definitely don't want polar compounds in, in, your, in your food. And the best way to minimize that is use olive oil because it's been shown that polar compounds coming out of olive oil for with extended you know six hours nobody's cooking for six hours but even if you go that far that long then you won't get any uh any uh, the level of polar compounds is the lowest you could get